Hi guys, so I recently received quite a few questions about the necklace that I wear in some of our videos. So I thought I'd make a video about it and explain the meaning behind it. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. So over the past two years, we've been through quite a journey with my husband being diagnosed with cancer and also Crohn's disease. And amidst all of this, I received a very, very special gift from a special dear friend. My friend came to visit me one day and she left a gift behind in a little box like this. And she said that I should open it once she was gone. So what was inside the box was this little pendant or necklace. It is a one cent, an old South African one cent. And it was still in the original box that her grandmother gave it to her in. And this was very, very special to me. The box still has the original message in from her grandmother. Now, she didn't give this away because it isn't special to her. She gave it away because it is so special to her. Um, as she puts it, it's still hers. It's just around my neck. And she also said that she paid it forward. And there's a whole story behind the South African one cent that I'm going to share with you today. The message is one of hope. And it's very symbolic this is the old South African one cent and the the image of the two birds was also on the old South African quarter penny coin now as legend goes more than a hundred years ago in the Anglo-Boer war in the concentration camps there was a lady called Annette Marais um, she tried to encourage others around her and she asked God the previous night for a special message for them. Obviously, this was very, very terrible circumstances. This concentration camp at Batuli was also known as the camp of hell. And she asked God for a message to give to the other ladies where they had Bible study the next morning. And the scripture that she decided to read was Matthew 10 verse 29. So I read from the Amplified, it says, Are not two little sparrows sold for a penny, and yet not one of them will fall to the ground without your father's leave, consent and notice. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not then, you are of more value than many sparrows. And also the New Living Translation, but in Afrikaans, my first language. Jylle weet dat twee emoties vir een skamele cent verkoop word. Toch beland nie een van hulle hoopeloos op die grond, sonder dat jylle vader daarby betrokke is nie. Wat jylle betref, is elke haar op jylle kop getel. Wees daarom nie bang nie, jylle is vir hom meer waard as een jylle swarm mosies. So the legend goes that as she was reading the scripture to the women in the concentration camp, two little birds came to sit on her shoulder. And this symbol became a symbol of hope for them. Later on, after the Anglo-Boer War in 1902, Annette Marais survived and she told the story to a very influential friend. The story goes, he then told it to General Jan Smit, and in 1923, they decided to put the image of the two little birds. In Afrikaans, we call them mossies. That is also the translation in the Bible. But in English, they refer to sparrows. But I'll just talk about two birds. They put the symbol of the two birds on the quarter penny. And that later became the one cent, the South African one cent. So the story behind the one cent and the two little birds is one of hope. It comes from the Bible and from scripture where it says that God sees us and he cares about us and no matter how unimportant or frail or hopeless we might feel or seem, 
He sees us. Every hair on our head is counted and He knows what is going on in our lives. That is why this gift was so special and my special friend, I appreciate it so much, more than you will ever know. I wear it almost every day and every time I touch it or every time somebody asks me about it, I can tell them the story not only of the woman in the concentration camp, but also of a friend who thought of me, who prayed for me and who really cares for us. And of course, even beyond that, it reminds me that I have a father in heaven who knows me and who knows my struggles and my hopes and dreams and that he knows exactly where he's leading me and that I can just trust him. Through my husband's illness, cancer, chemotherapy, our infertility journey, everything that we've been through, I've been hanging on to this as a physical symbol of something very deep and spiritual that God cares for us and that I can always trust Him. Thank you so much for my special friend or to my special friend who gave me this gift and who stays a very, very important part of our lives. Whatever you are going through, whatever your struggle is, if it's infertility like ours at the moment or whether it's illness, whatever it is, may you never ever lose hope.